Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. This video is going to be a quick and simple. This is to show you how you can take an SVG file and keep everything where it is based on the color. I do this with many of my files when I'm cutting out on HTV or vinyl. So I did a video on Valentine's Day using these gnomes and I said I had left everything, all the colors together and I had some people ask me how I did that and I said I would do a video on it. So I just wanted to show you these cute little gnomes. I bought these on designbundles.net. I will leave the link below in case you're interested. I know that St. Patrick's Day is coming up next so I can do some of like this and then you have your Easter ones, you have teacher ones, you have graduation ones with the sad little mask on it cute little garden ones you have ones for winter so you have all these files that you get all 12 of them so i'm actually just going to get rid of all of these and work with the valentine's day one since this is the one that i was originally working with so i'm going to stretch this to make it bigger so you guys can see what i'm working with so if you select this and this will go for any svg file that you have it doesn't have to be just this gnome one this video is just to show you how you can take an svg file and keep everything where it is based on the color so to do that i'm going to click away on this and i'm as you can see on the side here every single piece would cut individually so i'm going to show you really quick what i mean so if i click make it you're going to see that every color on the side here is coming up with the pieces. So if you were to do this, you would have to individually put these together when you're done. And after you're done cutting it out, and it's just a pain in the butt. So like all these little hearts here, the little pieces to their uh, hats, and their little hands aren't in order. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to do this. So I'm gonna cancel out of here. I'm gonna go back to here. So as I showed you, all these are gonna cut out individually. So all these little pieces here, all the hearts, the feet, the legs, everything is gonna cut out individually. I hate it when it does that. It just wastes your time and there's such an easier way to do it. So that's what this video is about. So I'm gonna click on the image. I'm gonna go up to here and click the ungroup button and that's gonna ungroup every single piece. So this one is going to be a little bit time consuming because there's so many different colors on here. I should have chose a different one, but since I did the video on this, I said I would do a video with the gnomes here. So I'm gonna show you really quick. So for example, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to find the red one. So I want the red hat, the heart, and the feet. So I'm gonna start with the first one. So here's the heart, you can see it here. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm looking for all the red stuff. So let's see, so here's the hat. So I'm gonna hold down my command button. It might be different for you. I hear people say it's the shift button, but I have a Mac. So my Mac is the command button that I need to hold down. So I'm gonna hold down that command button and I'm gonna click on the, uh, wherever it just went. <laughs> I'm gonna click on the hat. So now you have the hat and the heart selected together. You can see it here that it's kind of grayed out a little bit. And then if you go up to the heart, that is also grayed out. So those are together so far. So I'm gonna find the rest of the red pieces. So I need the two red feet. So again, I'm gonna hold down the command button and I'm gonna click on that first shoe. And for whatever reason, it always puts you back to the top. So you have to go and find the next one. So you can see all three pieces are now together. I'm gonna hold down the command button again and click on this one. So now I have all four pieces together. So I'm gonna go back down to the bottoms. You can see this is already selected and I'm gonna find the other two. So I'm gonna grab this one and then come back and grab this one. So I'm gonna hold the command button down and click on the first foot. So as you can see here, it's growing over. So I'm gonna go back down for the last one and I can tell that this one is the last one. So I'm gonna hold down the command button and click on that one. So I'll show you what that did. So it took all the red pieces and here they are. So it makes it so much easier when you're going to cut this out and then you need to, let, let's say it's HTV or even vinyl, you have to put it all together. So instead of trying to take your time and figure out, okay, this is the spacing for the feet, this is how much spacing in between, 
this just makes it a lot easier and you don't have to waste all this vinyl in between you can like take your scissors and cut it out like this way um, but this is just so much easier for me so I'm actually gonna move this one whoops actually one last thing you want to do before you forget don't let go of this so I have all the pieces together right so I'm gonna push attach so now you can see all of them right here on the side are grayed out so when I go to cut this it's gonna cut it exactly as it looks so now I'm gonna move it away because we don't need that part right now so now you want to go with the next one so if you want to start with the grays you can start here so you can see all these pieces are gray and then you got the little circles here and then their legs so I'm gonna start with the gray so I'm gonna start all the way at the top up here I'm gonna forget about these because these are all done already they're red so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna start with the first one so it's the first little dot it turned gray so you know that it's on there I'm gonna push the command button and I'm gonna click on the next one go down find the next one push the command button and each time I'm letting go and I'm finding the gray so I'm going to the next one I'm gonna push command button and I'm just gonna do the same thing throughout until I find every single gray piece because I want all the gray pieces to be together. So I'm just coming down, seeing if there's any gray. Oh, there's still a hat here and then their legs. So I'm going to hold down the command and push that button. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I know I just have their feet left. So I'm going to do the same thing was that, which I was doing, which I'll fast forward so you don't have to watch this, but I'm going to get every single piece of these. Okay, so now I have all the pieces. So instead of grabbing this and pulling it, I'm actually gonna go to the attach button right here and that's gonna attach all those pieces that I just did together. So here are all the gray pieces. So I'm gonna shrink my screen and I'm gonna show you. So we have these two pieces. So here we go. And they're gonna line up perfectly. So when you go to put this on your, whatever you're putting on, your towels or you know, your mug, whatever you wanna do, you don't have to guess and figure out where to put each piece. So I'm just gonna continue and do the next thing. So I'm gonna go back over here, go up. So now I have the white, the tannish color, and the pink. So you can do the same thing, or you can also go in and click on your images here. So I'm gonna start with the heart here. I'm gonna hold down the command button. I'm gonna grab this next shoe. See, now I didn't grab the shoe, so now you gotta start over. That's why I like doing the side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. I'm gonna grab the shoe. See, I got the shoe. I'm gonna hold the command button down and I'm gonna grab the other shoe. And I'm gonna continue to do it also over here. So I'm gonna grab the heart here. And you can see on the side here which ones you're grabbing. So this one you've already grabbed and you can see it's grayed out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these little hearts. So I'm gonna hold down the command button and click that. Command, click, command, click and then get the hat as well. And I think I got it all, but I'm gonna go over to the side here and we're gonna look for pink. So if we see any pink on the side here that's not grayed out, we miss something. So here's the first one. And I'm just scrolling down to see. So there's another one, another one. So we haven't missed any so far, but I always like just doing it on the side and grabbing it that way. So since we have all the pink, I'm gonna do the same thing. Click attach and there you go. See, you guys getting it? It's not too hard to do. It's, it's, I, I guarantee this is the easiest way to do it. So instead of going for all the white ones, I'm going to go for the less one. So I'm just going to get the noses and the hands. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the nose, hold my command button, click on the nose, click on the nose, and then make sure you get all the hands. Even though the whole thing is selected here, you did not get these two hands. So you can go over here to the side, hold the command button down and grab those and you got those. So I'm gonna go through here and make sure that I got all of the hands and the noses. See, I missed two right here. So I'm gonna go there and get those two. It's all grayed out so you know that you have all those together and there's the rest of them. So again, without clicking anything, go to your attach button and there it is. And then now you can easily do the white. You just grab all of it, all the white, and then you attach. So now you can go ahead and put all these together if you want, um, or you can just wait and let it cut out. But uh, the first thing I would have done maybe is uh, resized it to whatever size you want, or you can wait until later. But the reason I said you might want to resize it first is because each piece is going to be different layers, meaning that you got your pink behind the white, 
and the hands and stuff behind the white. So you, these do go in layers. So I'm going to show you quick. I'm going to click make it and I'm going to show you what they each look like. So this will cut out as one whole piece instead of you trying to figure out where the little dots are and where their feet supposed to go. This is for the white. So this is one whole piece. You can move the whole thing. Here are their hands if you want to cut them out. And then the hearts and the feet and stuff. So everything is where it's supposed to be. So you can cut it out this way. Um, but to look at this, I'm going to show you quick. So each one of these are a layer. So if you want to go back, you can put these together. So if I shrink my screen and I'll bring this back. Bring my screen back up again for you. And show you what I mean. So these pieces are in different layers, right? So they're on top of each other. So you can take the time and figure out which goes where. Like the gray one would go behind. So with the gray selected, I'm going to go to align, or I'm sorry, arrange, and then send to back. So you see how that brought the red in front? So now you know that's where that goes. I'm going to get rid of these hands because I know that's a different layer. This one's a different layer. I believe that, let's see. I think that this goes next. I mean, you don't have to do this because you already know you have all the pieces, but I'm showing you in case you're like, oh my gosh, it went away. Nope, it's still there. So with that already selected, you want to go to the arrange button and send to front. So see, there is your nose there. And then you can do this too. So you have this part, go to the same thing, arrange, send to front. And you can see they're holding the hearts. So I mean, clearly we're still missing the red heart that was here, but it's all how you layer it. So it's all here, I promise you. See, there it was right here. But now when you go to cut it, it's all going to have it for you. So like I was saying, you're not wasting any vinyl. You can go in here and cut, you know, like this way and save all that vinyl. The same thing with this. You just cut it out this way. Their little hands. The pink part, I mean, you can save all this vinyl here. You can kind of go in and cut however you want. But... I swear, this is the way I do it every single time. It's so much easier than trying to place things piece by piece, especially if you have so many colors of something. So I really hope this tutorial helped you out. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. But I really hope this video on how to take an SVG file and keep everything where it is based on color helped you out. I wish I knew this a long time ago. Uh, like I said, I'm on a Mac, so it might be different than yours. It might be the shift button. Uh, every computer is different, and this is the kind of, that I have. So again, I really hope this helped you guys out. You can do this with any files that you have so I'm going to be definitely doing these cute little gnomes for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to be doing um, some towels again so stay tuned for that but guys have a great time have a great time crafting happy crafting and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and have a great day guys.